Not tomorrow. just, these have just been freshly picked here. Are they designed or they, they've been picked so when they're not yeah, fully ripe? They've picked the early, like, yeah. Green. But these, these little very baby aubergines would probably be very, very tasty. Organic. Not too, not too big, not too bitter, yeah. I imagine. And that's the thing about Indian street markets. You'll see just, just one person with two or three things lay out their cloth, lay out their newspaper, and sell direct to the public. Because there's always public, there's always people going past, and therefore they'll soon sell their produce. But also, Ind Indian shoppers have a very good eye for quality. They're not going to buy any old rubbish. They're going to really be tough on price and tough on quality. Uh, they'd be a lot better shoppers than me. A good deal and you're not going to get to know the ingredients that you're buying. So this should not be a rushed affair. This should be something you take your time. You know, think about a mother going out to the market and buying for her kids, wanting the best possible quality. Have that in your mind. Take your time and choose the best possible produce and the freshest produce. That's really important. So I think we've pretty much got most of our ingredients for our night in the jungle at the Gibbon Reserve and we're yeah. <coughs> Let's go next let's go next door. You got the salt. Okay, that's great. Thank you. We need to buy mineral water. Okay, then we can get mineral water. I'm sure one of the shops around the corner. Let's let's go to the car. And yeah, let's go to the car, and then we can you know we can move. to try and find the car so always time to look at a few market stores on the way though some serious sized bananas banana yeah very nice big big bananas good potatoes onion pumpkin ginger you see ginger chili tomatoes all the staples everywhere where's the car 